it's raining today. Felix and I were going to go to the beach today, but uh, he's got some water on the lens. There we go. Felix and I were going to go to the beach today, but obviously it's raining, so maybe not worth it. So I suppose at least if we go to the beach today, then we know that no one else is going to be there. The box. We've got an instruction leaflet. Some tasty snacks. Save them for later. Another piece of plastic. This one seems a lot more flexible than the one that came with the Boyer mic. Doesn't seem like it's going to get broken, not quite as rigid. A little slinky and the microphone itself. It already comes with the thing on, the dead cat. And this is it. Rode Video Mic. Rode Video Micro. So this is the Boyer mic from the other day. This is a lot more tight, this dead cat. And that's the little shock mount. Come off! And there we go, we've got the Boyer mic and the Rode mic. You see they're pretty much exactly the same size. If I had to say one was shorter than the other, I'd say the Rode mic is um, about a millimetre shorter in the height. I don't know if you can see that. But really, not. it's negligible. The Boyer has the larger receiver. I'd say they were very similar in weight according to my guesstimation. There's been a bit of a gap in the, in the weather. We've been lucky enough that the rain has held off. So I'm taking out the Lauer 100mm macro lens. And I'm taking out the Sony 100-400 telephoto lens. And we're going to go and see if we can get some like, nature shots or something. So I'm taking some waterproofs. Those in. Got my remote, spare memory cards, spare Swiss plate, that should go on the bottom there. Allen key tool, that's just for the lenses, spare battery, and my Corona Prevention Aid. So we're out now, just going to go and have a look, see if there's any trail into the woods or something, trail into the forest that I can go and take some pictures of insects or flowers or really anything. <laughs> Lovely neighbours. Look at the beautiful colours of those flowers.
do that and then tap the tree and all the sap is going down into there. And scrape the bark away. And the sap goes down this channel, drips down into there and into the tray. <laughs> You think they want to take it home with them? I think I've made a tactical error in coming here. It's swarming with mosquitoes. I'm getting bitten alive. No time to stop as soon as I stop moving. As soon as I stop moving, I've got mosquitoes all over me. Do you guys see that? They are just swarming me, so I'm running away. I'm going to get out of here as quickly as I can. <laughs> run away! Run away! I'm absolutely covered in mosquito bites now. You know, they say every day is a learning experience. Today I've learned insect repellent is a must. And if I've learned a second thing today, it's don't come out into the forest when, uh, don't come out into the forest just after a rainstorm. Those mosquitoes just had a feast. I think I was a walking buffet for them. So I've heard that there are two ways to get around mosquito bites. One is just to leave them alone and they, uh, they stop being itchy quite quickly and the other is to get in a hot shower. The hotter the water, the uh, more effective it is at stopping the itch 